okay. I don't know about you, but for me, this whole thing feels like a movie. This whole COVID-19 world crisis feels like a script for a really interesting but probably bad movie. And because when we flew into the airport a few weeks ago, we sort of flew in and there were planes stacked up on the runway. They were all just parked there. They were still, they were stationary. Nothing was moving. We were met by people in full PPE gear. They were wearing yellow coats. We had our temperatures checked at the airport before we could leave. I mean, Shane had his temperature checked before he went for a knee appointment today. This world is different. We had to sign a piece of paper before we could buy a coffee. Um, we we'll go to the supermarket and there are empty aisles and there are suspicion between people and there are fights over toilet paper. Sometimes this just doesn't seem like this should be our world. It feels like it could be a script from a movie. And sometimes I actually wish it was that we would just wake up tomorrow and things would go back to the way that they were. Because if this were actually a movie, Hopefully by now, there would be some hero that's gone around the world and gone to the epicenter to, to find the, the cause of this virus and to fight for the cure. You know, the um, Hollywood action movie, handsome fellow who's got all the brains with his sidekick and they're looking for those answers and they find them and then the world is saved. They put their lives at risk and they are the hero because they bring hope to the rest of the world. And those of you who know me know I love my movies. And that's pretty much the plot of every pandemic movie. I've spent years studying the movies and the hero always wins in these. The hero finds the cure. The hero solves the case. But here in real life, we're still waiting. We're isolating. We're struggling to connect and finding new ways to do it. And we're still hoping that someday, sometime soon, something will come and make things better. That will bring a cure, to bring things back to the way that they were. We need a hero. We need a hero now. And then longing for this hero to come in and fix things, it's not a new thing just to this pandemic. It's something that is cried out for through everything that goes on around our world and often in our own lives. Someone to come in and fix it and make things better. The people in Jesus' day, they were looking for the same sort of hero. They were stuck in the middle of a political and a religious rock and hard place. They'd been waiting for centuries for rescue, for freedom, for safety, for God's promises of hope to actually come to truth and reality in their time. They longed for that movie star hero to swoop in and bring them the safety that they had been longing for. And they got Jesus. Jesus. Not what they expected. A carpenter's son born in a two-bit town who entered Jerusalem on a donkey and hung out with fishermen and tax collectors. Not the type of hero they were looking for. He didn't say the things they thought he should say. He didn't act in the ways that they thought he should. He was quite paradoxical in the way that he taught about the first shall be last and the last shall be first. He hung out with people that heroes probably wouldn't have hung out with. He was a revolutionary. He challenged people. He came spreading love and peace and a connection with a living God. And then he willingly suffered and died a criminal's death on a cross. Now that doesn't make for a good movie. But what makes Jesus truly a hero is that his heroic task was about restoring broken people to this loving God, reconnecting them. Because when he died, it wasn't just his death. He took upon himself all the crimes and the sins of everyone and took them to that cross. All that separated us from this loving God was put to death that day. He carried shame. He carried their fear. He carried their dis disobedience right to the end. And it received the punishment it deserved so that we could stand once again pure before our maker. Jesus himself did not deserve any of this. He lived a blameless life. Yet he chose to wear our muck and to pay the ultimate price for it. A very unheroic end. A brutal and painful death. And again, if the story had ended there, it wouldn't make a great movie. It wouldn't be a great story. It'd just be like any other character in history. But we as Christians believe that's only the beginning. 
Jesus is a hero not because he just took our punishment, but he conquered death itself and he was raised to life again three days later. Our hero didn't stay dead and he showed himself again to the world and he changed the world in doing so. And he continues to change lives even today. People still cry out to him to help. And like a great hero, he listens and he comes and he always delivers. Just maybe not in the way that we expect him to. This Easter, we are being forced to celebrate Easter very differently. We don't have the buildings. We don't have our visiting guest songsters. We don't have a band. We don't have many events. We can't even gather to sing our favorite Easter songs. Mine is Up From The Grave Here Rose. I'd love to hear what yours are. There are family traditions that we cannot be doing. Easter will have changed for us. But that timeless truth does not change. That truth that the hero that we all need, that we cry to, to come and help, that hero came and lived and died and is still here right now today has been here all along and promises to never leave or forsake us. May we each this Easter call to that hero in a new way. Whatever devotional you choose to do or service you watch or online gathering or reading you make, may you get a real sense afresh of how great this message really is, how great this hero really is and what he has done and is still doing for you. We've put a devotional on our Facebook page if you're interested about grace. We encourage you to read this. You, we encourage you to try the Salvation Army's online services. These are territorial events led by our commissioners. These will be great, and these were great times of gathering. These will be a great time of reminding us that our hero is still here. As Tina Turner says, we don't need another hero. Ours never left. Bless you this Easter.